Hi, my name is Brian McNally and this is my 18th coaching log on the UCLan Coaching Experience module. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the challenges I face as a coach. Um, obviously we have challenges that we face every week and every session, every couple of minutes of every session. Um, but I'm going to try and cover some of the, the key challenges that I face throughout a season, kind of highlighting the key topics. Um, because I think it's quite important that we recognise these challenges and, and adapt and overcome them because you know that's part of what a coach does they over adapt they they adapt and you know change to fit the mold and and accommodate for everyone and um, we have to overcome these challenges regularly and i think it's just good practice to acknowledge them and, and try and overcome them because it, it, at the end of the day it makes you a better coach the first one i'm going to talk about is the, re, the, the way that we only get one hour per session with the group. Um, I think it's hard to progress sessions because if we only get the hour, it's then you stop in and then you see them a couple of days later and it's they've done a lot since then. They've been to school three times. They've seen friends. They've been with family. They've played on the Xbox. There's so many different things that the kids do and you're, you only get an hour with them. And to make use of that hour is obviously really really crucial but it's trying to reinforce your message so that they remember it for the next session that's the hard part and obviously they're only under sixes so the 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 detail that they're able to retain isn't a lot understandably because they're going to school they're learning all these new things and and they're doing really well and but it's still trying to get your message across and, and get them to remember it as well which is the hard part but it is a really fun challenge that you, me and the other coach we try and promote and we try and almost really push it at them that we're trying to remember these key things and at the start of the next session we'll come in and say right what did we do last session can anyone remember um, and some can and then there's some that don't say much but the ones that do remember we we do like to praise that as well because you know they do a lot and for them to remember is a really really um beneficial thing for them in the long run and it, it kind of highlights to us as well who psychologically and mentally is aware of what we're doing in the sessions um i'd also find that obviously it's tough to build on from the previous session but i think it also gives you the way we've tried to overcome it is we'll do a different thing every session so obviously make it entertaining and interesting each week there's something new um but you know we do that as well because we we know as coaches that the kids aren't going to remember everything so we kind of prepare for that and we'll do something new but we'll we'll flutter almost between the previous session and the current session and i think we've we're kind of starting to hit the nail on the head with how we do it now and and the way that we that we deliver the session and, and reinforce those previous messages is is going really well this year. Um, another kind of topic that we that I struggle with personally is a challenge that I'm trying to face and it is a tough one is that trying to de develop a relation with my players just in one hour. Um, I think it's crucial to get to know your players' you know, psychological makeup um, because if I can get to know that, I can... I can tell when they're having a bad day, when they're having a great day, when they're not feeling with themselves, and because they're only young, they're not, they don't have the knowledge to just come talk to us as coaches. Sometimes we have to recognise the, the almost the signs and and approach them, but then they do speak. And but if I can't develop that relation with a player, because we've only got the one hour and and the ten minutes, and when they're all uh, waiting to play, it. it it's it's tough, um, and there was also some more research done by Huey <clears throat> uh, in two thousand eight, who said um, where they said it is uh, it's important for coaches to have knowledge on the emotional side of managing a relationship with a player and all its consequences, and that that couldn't be more correct in my challenge. Uh, the consequences I can't know if I don't know the player. If, I, if if a player's struggling and they can't recognise the signs, then there's going to be consequences. They're going to have a disruptive session or 
they're, they're just not going to take part. They're going to want to sit out. Um, and it's that kind of stuff why I feel like it's crucial for me to, to develop a relation with my players. And only getting the one hour makes it hard, but you do everything you can and, and it goes side by side with the session almost because I, I really value that as a, as a key skill to coaching, especially with the younger ones. Um, and the final challenge that I, I face as a coach um, is assessing players. Um, over two different groups, I have 30 players to assess on my own. Um, and feedback to my to uh, my boss, um, and trying to assess everyone. You know, you got the strengths you're looking at. You, you're trying to identify a couple of strengths, a couple of weaknesses. Um, identify the talent development path that they're on. If if they're progressing, if they're digressing. You know, if just loads of different stuff. You, the four corner model. It is a lot for 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 me on my own. Um, it doesn't allow me to fully delve into what type of player they are and the capabilities they have. However, I do have a brief, almost top of the water knowledge of them. But I really want to dive in deeper and, and get to know them more, and and that way I can provide deeper assessments, feedback, reviews, and also feedback for myself, because. If I can feedback to myself and reflect on what I've said and what I've done, it gives me a better knowledge of the questions to ask and the cues that I need to look for and within assessing a player. Um, I feel like that's vital. But over two groups with 30 players, it, it is a struggle. Um, but it is one that I'm slowly getting to grips with um, and kind of catching little snippets throughout a session. Um, but these are all challenges that I try. I face as a coach full on. And I will go at them head first and, and really try and conquer them because I just see it as it, it's, it, it's just a trauma trying to almost like a speed bump. And as soon as you're over that speed bump, you're, you, you're on your way, you're on the path to improving as a coach. So I'm embracing it with, with a real emphasis on keep going. And this, this, the challenges that you're facing now will once one, one day become a strength.